What is going on, y'all? It is Eric Texas. And of course, I am still cleaning out some stuff. This is one of those things that's actually getting trashed out. And uh, it's due to the board issue right here. But there are some great scavenger parts on the board. This one here is a nice Seagate Skyhawk Surveillance 4 terabyte 5.25 drive so we can use that uh, it does have SATA connections actually comes with that and power connections so we're going to take everything out we can use and uh, it does power up so we're going to pull the power supply out and we're also going to pull this little cute fan out um, and the mounting hardware to it so everything we can use we can use but yeah everything's on this board and this board's kind of dead uh, I may take that beeper out the capacitor stuff like that and verify None of that is bad, but CPU board and time it takes to go through all these to just repair them or replace them is very easy just to, unfortunately in today's society, like they make things, they are throwaways. Hard to repair, especially if it's a CPU issue, it's just so much easier to trash out what you can use and put the rest out. Just like I'm doing because man I'm almost out of room and uh, we'll use this four terabyte drive we'll use the power supply and we'll use this fan take a look at anything else component wise that I can take off these boards but otherwise yeah these are unfortunately throwaway units as far as repairing you can actually buy a board but it'll cost just as much as you buying a new one it's unfortunate and that is what things have gone to but I'm gonna do my best to recycle the parts I can use and put them to good use so yeah Daiwa NVR here um, getting disassembled and the rest is going out the dump pile is getting very large actually surprising all the stuff I've kept and most of the time I'm like why Good example here, except the parts inside, that's why. So we're going to go ahead and uh, disassemble, take all the stuff out. But uh, just wanted to say hey to each and every one of you, 1,300 some subscribers. I do apologize for being lackluster on the videos, but I am doing full shack clean out and, you know, full shack rebuild too. And I end up with a ton of this stuff too. So it's not just a radio channel, but like I have in my name, Eric Tech Stuffs. It's a whole bunch of tech stuffs. Ugh. But at least we can use it, and what we can't gets out the door. And this is one of those units. Again, I'll get back to videos soon. Got some cool radios coming and a lot of fun stuff uh, on the bench. But have to clean out to be able to find that stuff, and this is one of those days. So let's go ahead and see what we can use out of this Daiwa NVR and I'll be back after I complete the disassembly and see what is left to use. All right, tear down complete, very easy to do. These boards are uh, useless, so off the bench. So, yeah, basically just a couple of parts that we were able to salvage. A couple of jumper wires, maybe for some uh, copper or some replacement uh, wiring schemes on radios. Who knows? SATA power cable uh, goes out to two. We have that. Not a big deal. And, oh, yeah, I forgot the star of the show. It's not that big of a star of the show, but at least it is a... Um, simple computer power supply that will power up some equipment of course it does have these proprietary plugs on that but you can definitely change that out usually yellow is the five volts and ground and red usually is the upper but of course it's all right here uh, some simple stuff but uh, yeah four terabyte drive a couple of capacitors i mean there's really not much on here but yeah, are we even using these? Probably not. Who knows? What was that? What was that? I'm just curious. 
a manufacturer on that. What was that? Oh man, yo, slippery. Probably don't want to use it. It's a slippery cap. Ulta Nova LH or LH dot Nova. I don't know. But yeah, a couple of basic things. Uh, strap on little uh, heat sink. See, these capacitors just really don't want to play nice. I don't think I want to keep them anyway. But yeah, with that piezo buzzer that was in there and the other little battery backup but otherwise yeah there is not much i'm very glad i've actually succumbed this down to that much but yeah majority of stuff's oh i got a call coming in but uh, majority of stuff is uh yeah not uh not worthy to keep whatsoever so very glad to get this out but uh anyway we'll see in the next video i appreciate it uh yeah this is just a eric tech stuff video as that gen um sometimes radio sometimes just going through part stuff like i always have to in my shack i always put it away for later but later is starting to come today because i am running out of room and we just need to get rid of stuff be productive with stuff anything we can recycle and reuse I will go ahead and do that here, like these parts. Otherwise, yes, the other ones are going into the e-waste bin that I have no use for any of that stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. It'll be more exciting, I'm sure. With uh, 1,300 subscribers, I'd get a little pressure. But uh, just throwing out a, a quick video of just uh, something we can use and recycle and when they say recycle, go ahead and pull it all apart. Don't be scared. If it's all powered down, you can pull out some good stuff to use in something else you may need or just get rid of it. I may do a $2 sale down the road here very soon. A lot of stuff I don't need, but uh, if I can get my $2, uh, that's the old better off dead analogy from the paper boy so i'm gonna probably do some ebay two dollar sales and you know shipping and stuff but nothing too crazy but uh stuff i need to get rid of anyway all right i appreciate you all stopping by and damn it i'm babbling i'll see you in the next one i do appreciate you 73 eric textos